Bombs away. Wow. Good morning, everyone. Today is a new video and it's super, super exciting because I'm gonna walk you guys through my entire process of launching a new product. And you might've gotten a glimpse of how I do that with my Vlogmas videos where I introduced a new peppermint candy soap. Oh, Jillian's home. We uh, share a driveway with our neighbors, so we're kind of creepy watching their ins and outs. <laughs> but anyways, but this is really special because this is a completely new type of product. It's my heart-shaped New Year's bath bombs that I made and I'm gonna walk you through everything that I do in order to get this product on my websites and launched for everybody because I do plan on having these available as of January 1st which is tomorrow so I'm in a little bit of a time crunch but I actually work really well under pressure so hopefully everything turns out but because it's middle of the day actually it's around 10 10 a.m. 10 30 a.m. I lose track of time all the time because it's around this time of day. This is the best lighting in my house right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some pictures. I'm going to be showing you how I make my labels. I'm gonna be showing you how I wrap them and I'm gonna be showing you how I package them. It's the entire process. If that's something you're interested in, keep watching. If you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. My name is Jerrica. I am the owner and creator of Quench and I love to talk about my business on my channel, everything about it. And if you are starting your own business and you have stumbled upon the right channel because I like to talk a lot about my business and for all of you who have already subscribed you know that I love every single one of you you guys have been so supportive and so amazing thank you again I appreciate your support now without further ado let's get into the video I just turned the corner and I stumbled upon a basset hound just sitting there calmly how are you baby girl <laughs> So these are the stars of the show today. These are my heart-shaped bath bombs that I made. They are scented in champagne, berry mimosa, and pina colada. They are all celebration drink themed because we are celebrating the start of a brand new year and saying goodbye to 2020. I am so pleased with how they turned out. Look how beautiful these are. I can just get it to focus. Oh my goodness. These are bio glitters that I bought from fizzfairy.ca and they stick so well to this bath bomb. And I got a question from a viewer asking whether or not these bio glitters still stick even after the bath bomb has dried and it looks like they're on there. <laughs> they're on there pretty good. If I go like this, they don't fall off. People who are wondering about how I made these in the first place, I have a video that I'll stick right up here showing me playing with the molds that I used. And the molds that I used to make these are the heart-shaped molds that I bought from, it was a soaper that was used stashing, but she got them from the Bath Bomb Press Company. And I am so, so pleased with how these turned out. And I have to say that the molds that make these shapes work so much better than the round ones in the sense that it was much easier to get them out of there. And it, these seem a lot more solid. If you are curious about how these types of bath bombs perform in water, stay tuned for the demo at the end of the video because I cannot wait to show you how these performed. I don't know how they perform yet myself, but I'm suspecting that they're gonna be awesome. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Hello, we are here in my mud room. And the reason why we're here is because this is the room with the best light in the house right now. I'm getting sunlight from two windows and a door. When I take product pictures, I always, always, always use natural light. And the reason why is because it actually is some of the best light you can get. It's not only are your photos well lit, but the colors are true to what the actual product is. So I highly recommend if you are starting out and you can't afford studio lights and all that jazz, I've been doing this for three years, I still have not bought studio lights. Go in front of an open window, wait until the light is really, really nice, and then you have a beautiful, perfect setup right there. And actually, right now is excellent for taking pictures because there's a lot of snow on the ground, so it's acting like 
of diffuser. The sunlight is bouncing off of that and it's super soft and super gorgeous. I'm really, really excited to be taking pictures in this light. This is ideal. And here is the professional setup. <laughs> just kidding. It's literally just one of my shipping boxes and a piece of foam board. And it's angled so that I'm able to get light from this window here and this door there. And I'm going to put the product down here. And I'll show you what my thought processes are when I'm taking product photos and why I take the type of photos that I do. The first model of the day are my Pina Colada Heart Bomb. And I really liked how I've laid them out in this kind of flat pattern where they're interlocking. And one of the pictures that I really want to get is just an overhead shot of them like this because I feel like it's a really interesting shot. It'd be really good for either Instagram or any one of my websites. So gonna be doing that and in terms of me actually taking the pictures I use my Canon 6D with a 50 millimeter 50 millimeter 1.4 lens on top of it and this is a heavy-duty camera I love it I know that starting out you probably don't want to invest in a camera as good as this one but honestly the ones that are much cheaper take really excellent pictures and the reason why I like using a DSLR is because you can tweak things on photo editing software like Lightroom which is what I use and honestly investing in all of that pays so much in the end because if you're selling stuff online you really want the best pictures possible so I highly recommend if you're not getting sales maybe one thing you need to look at is getting better pictures of your products here's a typical setup that I like to do when I do my product photography I like to kind of stack them up and do an overhead shot just like that and that looks super cute for social media and maybe my website banner who knows but I like to take the products from all different angles I love products on a white background you can see it's white here and white here because it really brings out the natural beauty of these products so I just took a couple shots and now we're gonna get these labeled and wrapped so that we can take product pics of these bath bombs packaged and with their cute little names on top hello we are now at my computer desk area and I will be showing you guys exactly what I do to make my labels for my products and as you guys know when I do my labels for my my round bath bombs I print them on a band of cardstock but because these bath bombs have a flat surface and they're kind of wonky shaped that's obviously not gonna be something I'm gonna be doing for that bath bomb so what I'm gonna do instead is print a label on a clear sticker similar to what I do for my soaps which also have a flat surface and that should end up looking really really nice i'm thinking my 1.8 by 1.8 clear labels from online labels should be good for that so i'm going to create a label with those dimensions in mind and i will show you exactly how i do that so normally what i would do with my other labels is work from an existing label but because i'm teaching i'm just going to work completely fresh so i have photoshop here pulled up and what i'm going to do is is create a brand new label so what i'll do is i'll click file new and this window for a new document pops up and over here we have our width and height of the label and I know for a fact that it's a 1.8 by 1.8 inch label so I'm gonna make sure that it, those are the right dimensions which it is and I'm gonna click create and what that will give me is a blank sheet right there to work from so what I will do is click the text tool and click anywhere in the label it doesn't really matter at the beginning and I'm gonna put the name of my bath bomb and for this particular label I'm gonna make my champagne bath bomb labels and the name of this particular bath bomb will be pop the champagne so over here I have my text layer activated and you can tell because there's this line that's blinking which tells me it's ready for me to start typing I'm gonna write pop the champagne and there's a few things <laughs> iffy going on here first of all it's the wrong font and second of all it's way too big so what I'm gonna do is change the font type and for all of my products I like to use glacial indifference so I'm going to change it to glacial indifference and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller I'm going to move this over to the middle and then I'm going to change a few more things I just realized that when I make my product names I do everything in capitals so I'm just gonna redo that and I like to have a bit of a space in between each letter and that's just how my branding is set up so I'm gonna do that and E and it's still a little bit too big, so I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go down to 18. Nope, that's still too big. 16, eh, that's pretty good, but I think I want a little bit 
yeah, more clearance. There we go. And I like to bold everything. So I'm going to change that to bold. Looks amazing. And for the rest of the label elements, I'm going to be adding the weight. I'm going to be adding a few more text elements. And I'm going to be adding the name of my company with the logo. And that's basically how I make my labels. I made those labels. And before I print a whole bunch out, I really want to make sure that they fit. So I'm going to have Kale wrap some of them. And I'm going to print a single label just to see how it looks. And if everything looks good, I'm going to move forward with wrapping all of them. This is the trial run and oh wow, it just turned out so beautiful. I'm super happy with it. We did have to cut the corners of the 1.8 by 1.8 label, but that is okay. It's kind of a different surface, but it ended up looking so nice. So now that the trial run ended up looking beautiful, now we're going to print all of the labels and get all those parts packaged up and we can finally show you what the final product will look like. So here are my printed labels and for the pina colada one, Ones. They're getting the Hello 2021 label on them. And we did find that with the 1x8 or 1.8 by 1.8 stickers, they're a little long in the corners. So we just have to cut them off in the corners to get them on there to get them to fit perfectly. So one of the great things about having bath bombs with a flat surface is the fact that I can use my clear online labels to stick in the top and I'm able to see all these beautiful sparkles and I'm not covering them up. So you have such a great product display and I'm going to, I'm gonna show you what this one looks like. So I just peel off and I'm gonna cut off the corners like so. So you have a label that's shaped like that and then I'm just gonna stick it right on top of there. And the final result looks like this. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? box I'm using these nine by three by three inch white boxes that we get from Staples and these boxes are awesome because you can easily fold them together super fast and you have a box it was that fast and we're just gonna fill these up with some crinkle paper and put our bath bomb inside of it and I will show you what that looks like so I am over at my folding station and I'm gonna fill this box with some spring fill and I get this crinkle fill from Staples as well and we get them at 10 pounds at a time in big boxes and for my photo purposes I'm really gonna pack it up with fill so that the products are right up to the top so that when I put the products in there they're gonna be sitting right at the top and there won't be any awkward shadows that are being cast on the product and I think that's pretty good let's add a little bit more fill it up to about this much and I have my three bath bombs. So when I'm positioning them in the box of pictures, I'm gonna make sure there's fill coming up on, on around them. And this prevents shadows from appearing in the photos. And it also helps to make the box look really full. So that's what it looks like here. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I'm gonna get my, st <laughs> I'm gonna put my sticker on here and now we are ready for some for some product photos we're now back in the mudroom and i have my product here that i'm going to be taking pictures of the light is awesome so i'm gonna take advantage of that So now the part you have all been waiting for, the demoing of these bath bombs. I have my tub of water right over here. It's deep enough to show whether or not these guys will float or not. I will show you how these perform right now. 
First up is pina colada. Bombs away. We've got a floater. Next up are champagne bath bombs. Champagne. All right, bombs away. Oh, yeah, they shoot right up to the top. Last to test is our berry mimosa. Look how pretty you are. All right, bombs away. <laughs> wow. Got a little lost in So one thing I did observe about these bath bombs is that even though they are smaller than my round bath bombs, they seem to be lasting much longer. For example, the first one I dropped in, the pina colada scented bath bomb, I dropped in at 2.35, it is now 2.38. So that gives it a runtime of about 13 minutes. At least it's still going. I'll probably continue to keep going until maybe 20 minutes looks like. The flat shape of these bath bombs are dispersing the color so amazingly. It honestly looks so vibrant and so wonderful. I am extremely, extremely pleased with how these bath bombs turned out. I cannot wait for you guys to try it and see it for yourselves. I love using that heart-shaped bath bomb mold and I will definitely be making more products using that mold in the future. So we took all of the pictures, I've edited them, and I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day getting that on the site. We have so much to do on the website. We have to upload things, we have to take things down, we have to get it prepped for a whole new theme, which is Hello 2021. So that's gonna take some time. And Kale's over here putting stickers on all of the all of those new bath bombs. So we have a very busy afternoon. So I think that's why I'm gonna sign off. Remember this product, the these guys are gonna be on the website as of January 1st. So by the time you're seeing this video, it's already up on our Etsy and our Shopify. So if you wanna buy this, head over there. And remember, we only have about 30 of these. So once they're gone, they're gone. They're a limited edition product and they are super, super cute. And as you saw from the demo, these perform so well. The colors are so super bright. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We have so much coming in the new year and for all of you guys who have already subscribed thank you so much we appreciate you and if you have any questions about what we saw today please leave it in the comments below and i will answer it when i can eventually <laughs> so we're hoping that you guys have an amazing new year i know that you guys are probably not going to be spending it with your families let's all look forward to a new year in 2021 where we can grow our businesses and hopefully be and hopefully spend more time with our families until then keep shining keep smiling Happy New Year. And Happy New Year. Bye, guys. <laughs>